Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Jojo Dawson, Texarkana, Texas. 2023 Shaking The Lord spoke to me about 2023 quite a bit before we stepped into the new year. I've already released several words of the Lord that He's given to me about this year, but I also want to share this word with you today. I believe there's a shaking that's taking place during the first 90 days of this year. Now, when many hear that a shaking is coming or happening, they may feel afraid or worried. However, I want you to know that this shaking is nothing to be afraid of because it's coming from the Lord. In this season, God is shaking what can be shaken so that only the things built on and for his kingdom will remain. God is going to allow this shaking to expose wrong mindsets and limitations, lies of the enemy, even corruption in places of influence, so that in the upcoming season, those carrying the kingdom of God can advance forward without hindrance. In the last several weeks, I've had many more people in our church and those we are connected with confirm that they're experiencing this shaking. They're seeing evidence of it in others and in other places. I believe that God is even shaking things in America right now to set this nation up for a mighty move of his spirit. The shaking will break us down to our foundation so that we can build upon a sure foundation. We can move forward with the Lord once that foundation is secure. The Lord is also shaking many out of complacency. This shaking is bringing many people out of distractions and confusion and into divine clarity. If you resonate with this, and will allow the Lord to bring forth his shaking process, then you will be properly positioned for all that God is about to call you into. Many people see warfare or seasons of process differently than I do. But the truth is, when you're going through warfare, it's a sign that you are about to step into something powerful with the Lord. So don't let warfare or shaking cause you to shrink back instead. Instead, ask the Lord for strength, for discernment, so that you won't miss out on the purifying process God wants to do in you. I also see the Lord moving people to different geographical locations right now. I believe the Lord is also shaking some out of the ministry they are in and into another. Some are just being shaken out of a wrong belief system or a mindset that has held back them. They've held them back season after season. However, if you will say, yes, the Lord wants to shake you out of those limiting beliefs, to move forward with him. It is critical in this season that we each get with God and that we find out where he's positioning us. This is a time where God is repositioning people in order to prepare them for what's next. Lean in to hear what God is saying. Listen for his instructions and follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. The first 90 days of 2023, there will be a shaking and those that withstand it and come out of it They'll come out with the Lord and they will birth exactly what he has placed on the inside of them in the latter part of this year. So be encouraged today. Don't fear or curse the shaking. Let the Lord shake what can be shaken and build with him on that firm foundation for the kingdom of God. We are about to see the most powerful move of God in 2023. So let the shaking prepare you to be a part of it. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we pray for a shaking but we always pray for a shaking for others. (laughs) We always pray for a shaking on the enemy. We always pray for a shaking on sister so-and-so. But Lord, may we pray for the shaking in our lives. Lord, shake what's in my life that's not built on you. Shake what's in my friend's life that's not what is built on you, Father. Lord, may we go through the process of the shaking. May we, Father, cling to you, diving deeper in you. May we get with you, Lord, may there be more of an anticipation, more of a more of a, 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 a desire to be with you, more of an exasperation to be with you, Father. That's the word. <laughs> Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Father, that we will withstand it because we are found in Christ. Lord, I pray that my friend makes it through, makes it through complacency, makes it through distraction and confusion, Lord, that you would bring us to a place of divine clarity, that we would walk out the plan the purpose for our life in the upcoming season, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.